Today I'd like to commemorate all the fallen firefighters in the 9-11 terror attack. Bravery and sacrifice they made that day still touches me 16 years later. Many ran into those buildings knowing they would never make it home. Others have survived saving others, but have had to deal with medical complications that have taken a toll on them for many years to come. The bravery of these men is unimaginable. Without even knowing what had happened in the great city, they still ran in to help find survivors. Parts of the structure were collapsing with men when men were running inside trying to find someone to save. It is one thing to say you will do something, but it is another to actually do it, especially in those circumstances. They could have run the opposite direction or toward or refused to put their own lives in harm's way to help another. However, these brave men and women ran toward danger instead of away from it. Many people wonder why firemen run inside of a burning building instead of away from it like everyone else. That day they answered that very important question. They showed the world what it means to be a firefighter and to lay down your life for a stranger. Not only did these brave men and women give up their lives, but the survivors have had to live with devastating medical conditions. When the twin towers collapsed, the firefighters who went, who were exposed to the hazardous chemicals such as asbestos, lead-based paint, deadly toxins, and thick ash from all the concrete and metal. All these substances have caused damaging effects that still haunt them. Most of those that survived during that time have been battling various forms of cancer. These individuals not only risked their lives that day, but also have been fighting for the lives ever since. Not only have survivors had to deal with the medical conditions that are physical, but they also have to deal with the psychological effects on those who experienced it. It's one thing to imagine how you would cope from seeing such a thing, but to experience it and live through it is a whole different story. It is my belief that just because they didn't physically give their life during this tragedy, doesn't mean they have not sacrificed mentally. Mostly, all the first responders have suffered from PTSD of some kind. They battle through nightmares and flashbacks every day from this tragic day. Most of the time, the PTSD that we endure cannot be forgotten. We must seek out psychological help, friends, family, and other co-workers or other emergency responders that have dealt with the same situations to overcome any fear or any regret that we may have. In conclusion, I would like to commemorate the brave men and women who sacrificed everything on that tragic day to help save lives on 9-11. According to the website Mirror, Steve Buskme, a famous actor known for his roles in many old and modern movies, returned to fire department engine company 55 to sift through debris and rubble for 12 hour shifts and did not want any publicity or any coverage on it. He simply wanted to help his fellow brothers and sisters and to help those that were in need during this tragic time. It is those like Stephen Buskamy that are the true heart of what a firefighter is and always will be. He didn't ask for any pay or any type of anything he just wanted to simply go and help. He joined the fire department at age 21 and left at age 25 to go be a famous actor. He has kept in touch ever since and does not sway away from knowing what it is to truly be a firefighter. Thank you.